pretty snappy phone here. The user interface is really snappy and, and works quickly. It has the ability to show you uh, multiple desktops or multiple panels uh, at one time. Uh, you choose uh, the one that you would like to go to. And one of the, one of the, here, let's, um, for, for, do it, do it. There you go. You know, you saw flash video, flash advertisements, um, but this is flash games. Uh, this, particular, this particular game is on a desktop full out website, um, and we're playing this, this, web, this website from two mobile devices. On the right hand side is a Tegra 2 flash accelerator processor, and on the left hand side um, uh, is some poor guy trying to, uh, he's trying to play it in slow motion, which, which may very well be easier. Uh, Jeremy, so, so um, you're going to show us uh, this new really, really cool game. And this re really cool game is it's a multi-platform game. Um, it's a multiplayer game. Um, and, uh, but t tell us quickly about Dungeon Defender and what it's about. Sure. Dungeon Defenders is an online role-playing action RPG. Um, you kind of log in, you choose a hero class, and you slay monsters to get loot and experience. And you also use some strategy. You can place down defenses. So mm -hmm. your goal is to work as a team to survive waves of all kinds of crazy monsters in a fantasy medieval environment. Mm -hmm. And if you were, oh, OK, I was trying to figure out what is that sound? <laughs> that's um, the game. Yeah, it's the game. And so if you were to, to um, this particular game plays, and we're looking at currently somebody playing on a PC. And so obviously, the game itself and the game engine itself um, requires a very high performance platform. It does indeed. Yeah. It is an Unreal Engine 3 title for those in the game industry. Unreal Engine 3 is a game that powers Gears of War, the game engine that powers Gears of War, Unreal Tournament, Infinity Blade, etc. It's a very high powered game engine, typically used for the best that console and PC games have to offer. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing the game being played right now on the PC with Unreal Engine 3. That's cool. And then the next thing, you've got, um, show me another one. Well, you've got PlayStation 3. So these two uh, consoles, uh, well, PlayStation 3 and PC are playing together online. Uh, and um, what we're finally able to do now, actually, uh, with the advent of Tegra 2, is I think... Uh, well, okay, show me the next one. We're able to bring Tegra 2 into the online game as well, with the same content, oh, that's amazing. the same game. Uh -huh. You're now able to have a console online multiplayer experience in your hand wherever you go. And for a game developer, this is really exciting because we don't want people to stop playing our game just because they have to say, go to work, you know. So let me see if I can... <laughs> that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, so let me see if I can understand this. So the same game, these three players are playing in the exact same environment, and I can see them. They're playing in the same environment. One's playing on a PC, one's playing on a PlayStation 3, and one's playing on a Tegra. That's correct. Handheld. And what, what allows us to do that is that the Tegra 2 is sufficiently powerful, sufficiently advanced, that it's able to use the same assets mm -hmm. and the same code and mm -hmm. the same functionality as the PC and console version. That's we terrific. don't have to scale anything back. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's a Thank lot of fun. Thank you very much, Jeremy. That's terrific.